Okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, uh, like I posted in the uh, in the channel, uh, the agenda for today, I was thinking was basically um, introductions. We can introduce ourselves, uh, talk about the frequency and format for sessions, um, do a quick look at uh, the outline of the book, um, and then determine where you might want to start. Um, I'll say more about that later, um, but it might not make sense for us to start at the very beginning. Um, and then presentation signups, and um, and then just look at some resources for getting started. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive into the introduction. So it looks like the typical format for introductions is just like giving your name and like what you hope to accomplish by uh, by being a part of the book group, and um, and then also like whatever else you think is interesting and worth sharing to the group. So uh, so yeah, it sounds like um, uh, I think. Pavitra, you already know uh, Brian. Is that is that true? Yeah, Eric. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've seen each other once in the other group. <laughs> oh, okay. So you guys have you guys have already been introduced. We have a budding uh, friendship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's uh, that is true. But I don't know anything about you, so you could um, still introduce yourself. And I'll do the same. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I, I guess you have to break the ice. Yeah. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> uh, I'm Matt. I, um, I I'm actually a software engineer um, at a company called Heap. Um, I I actually work with with David Robinson, which he's I guess he's like a big deal um, around these parts. But um, he. Uh, I've been kind of going through some of the resources that he's recommended for getting into data science, and one of them is Modern Dive. Um, and so, yeah, I guess my goal is to is to kind of sharpen some of my like statistics knowledge, um, and that's kind of why he recommended this particular book. So, that's uh, yeah, that's me. Nice. Uh, my name is Eric. I'm a huge uh, David Robinson fanboy. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I think his stuff is amazing. He does a lot of um, just free demos and I mean, free books. He's, uh, you're lucky to work with that guy. I do feel lucky. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's yeah. been great so far. Like he's been a great uh, person to learn from and I've just been trying to follow his recommendations. So, yeah. So I do business intelligence for uh, eMindful, which is a local company that um, provides mindfulness classes online. Oh, cool of um, insights around engagement, retention, utilization, um, outcomes. We have um, long form programs that, that people take and we do pre and post assessments. Uh, so I work with uh, software engineers, um, but I'm the only data analyst in the company. Uh, and uh, so my interest with R is, uh, well, A, it was making a lot of the day-to-day -day work really easy and quick like reproducible reports with our markdown and um yeah and i just want to build a community of other data analysts data scientists and and get more of my chops underneath me so very cool Cool. Um, I'm Pavitra. I um, I actually got into R about um, three three years back, uh, and actually, Modern Dive was the very first book that I started learning from. Um, but then um, I actually fell off R because I um, I got into my first corporate job after almost um, eight years of a degree program and seven years of raising children, and so I totally got into enterprise and. <laughs> And completely fell off open source so i literally got back in in the last um, six months so trying to catch up a lot of lost ground but modern dive is like my first love because that's what helped me actually get into the discipline so excited about being here i mostly work with um i work with patient data and do a lot of enterprise software Verscape, snowflake um sql server um different qa tools so it's it's good fun but not open source so Happy to be here. Great. Great. Thanks for the introductions. Uh, all right. I guess we'll, we'll move right along. So 
Uh, yeah, so frequency, I mean, the pretty standard thing is to do like a chapter a week, it seems like. Um, I, well, actually, I don't know that that's standard. I, I know that that, um, it seems like that's what Advanced R is doing. Um, so does anybody have any objections to doing a chapter a week um, for, for meeting? I support that. Okay, awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that too. Okay, great. Um, all right, so uh, this is like, you guys have probably seen a lot of this already. Because uh, I'm basically just taking some of the uh, the stuff from the template as far as like how presentation should go, but we'll fly through this really quickly, um, just so that people can uh, who want to see the recording can actually see some of the content. Uh, but basically, the format for the presentations or for the meetings it's like split into two parts. Um, in the first part, there's like a chapter presentation, um, lasts about 20 to 30 minutes, but it could last the entire time. And these are all like some things that could happen during this first part. So like the presenter could go over uh, the concepts from the chapter with concrete examples. They could pose questions to the group, maybe anything they're confused about. Um, there could be like some live coding of um, some examples um, or um, extensions or exercises um, from the chapter. Um, could, it could conclude with a, like a big picture diagram that kind of connects the concepts from the chapter. And then the second part um, is kind of just more about like questions, discussion, um, extensions of the chapter con uh, content um, applications. Um, which uh, again is presenter led and a facilitator can um, be a fallback and I'm the facilitator. So I guess that's me. Um, and some example things that you might do here in this part is like uh, reviewing exercises in the book, um, relating concepts to other parts of the, uh, of the book, um, relating concepts to work that you've actually done before, um, or showing something you've built that applies the concept. So this could just be something as simple as a function or, um, or it could be something as complicated as a shiny app um, or like a full blown package or something. Um, so that's, uh, kind of the format. I've, I've actually, I don't know how that um, fits with your understanding of the format, but I, I've only seen like one advanced R, um, or no, two, well, one and a half advanced R meetings. Um, and then I saw this template um, way of describing how these sessions go. But does this seem like a reasonable format for people? Yeah, definitely. I like the sound of that. Okay, good. All right, so that's easy. So now let's go ahead and get into um, an outline of the book. Um, so these are the parts of the book, not the chapters. Um, so part one is data science with the tidyverse. Uh, part two is data modeling with modern dive. Uh, part three is statistical inference with infer. And then um, there's just the conclusion. Um, and you'll notice that like this first part, um, if you're pretty comfortable with the material in uh, you know, R for data science, like that first part might look a little redundant, um, which leads into this like kind of next agenda item, which is just like uh, determining where we want to actually start reading in the book. Um, so do we want to start at the very beginning and, and go through the um, data science and tidyverse uh, material? Or do we want to skip to part two that actually gets into some of the um, modeling and, um, and inference? Um, so yeah, do you, do you guys have any thoughts on that? I like the idea of uh, going straight to uh, the second part. The what is the data modeling with modern dive? I like yeah, that. yeah, we can go back. Um, yeah, data data modeling with modern dive. That gets into like linear regression basically, and um, with you know one one explanatory variable or multiple explanatory variable. Um, so that's chapters five and six is where. where what about you, Pavitra? Would you be okay with that? I actually, I really like the idea of that, like jumping straight into that part. But then I didn't know like what the co uh, the composition of this group would be if you would have, you know, some people that were more uh, like that. This was like their first exposure to Tidyverse and ggplot. Like because I didn't know that, I didn't want to comment. But personally, I like the idea of jumping into uh, part two. Yes. Okay. So what we do is, um, well, so there's a couple of things we could do. One is we can, uh, we can just kind of take this down as like two votes for skipping to the next part. Um, and then we can pull people in the channel and see if, um, yeah, and see if there's, if there's any objections um, once, we, once we get more people involved. Um, that's one thing we could do. We could also um, just kind of summarize the first four chapters in like one or two meetings. So we're spending less time on those things. Um, that's like a safer bet. Um, so do you guys have a preference for how to proceed? I, I kind of like the idea of um, just like voting, like, you know, we have two votes for skipping and we'll see 
what everybody else says um, when we drop it in the channel. Any any thoughts there, though? Great idea. Yeah. Good idea, definitely. Okay. Great. So then, what I'll do is I will um, after this meeting I will uh, I will pose this question to the channel, and that'll give um, people an opportunity to speak up if they'd like us to kind of slow down and make sure we go through the first part. Uh, all right. Awesome. Uh, presentation signups. Um, does anybody have any inclination to to present over the next couple weeks? Matt, if you wish, I could do what uh, Advance uh, Advance our cohort one is doing, and actually I suggested this to the uh, R for Data Science. Uh, we can create a sign up sheet, and then people can just go in and sign up as um, as depending on what chapter they feel comfortable with. And I will go ahead and either today or tomorrow I'll put those sign up things on both of the sites. I actually forgot to do that for the other group, but I can do that. Oh, awesome. I really appreciate that. That's a great yeah. idea. And uh, yeah, that's okay. Awesome. So that, that makes it easy. And I'm happy to, I'm happy to fill in, um, you know, any, any holes that we have in the presentation schedule. I, um, I like presenting and I also like, I find that it helps me um, kind of solidify the concepts that I'm trying to learn in reading. So I'm happy to do that. Uh, all right, and then the resources are really simple. You guys are already um, familiar with these things, but like we're going to need to install R, install R Studio, and then like depending on where we actually started, um, like if we started at the very beginning, they go through installation instructions for like the modern dive package and tidyverse and stuff. Um, so I guess depending on where people want to start, we can post um, some of the instructions for getting those things installed, um, which would probably just be like links to the relevant sections of the book. Um, so yeah, that's all I had for the slides. Um, so that's, that's pretty simple for our first meeting and there's, there's only a couple of us. Um, does anybody have any questions or any suggestions for like what we should do next? Um, I mean, we can, we can call, we can call the meeting. No, I'm can, glad uh, you started this, Matt. I appreciate that. I think this is a great idea and it's going to go great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to. Yeah. I'm excited too. Um, so I, I guess maybe at this point we just, um, unless unless there are questions or anything um, that people want to discuss, I guess we just get ready for next week. And, um, and that'll be a little tricky. I'll try and get an answer for where we're going to start like very soon, like I guess by Friday at the latest. Um, and then that, that'll help us prepare for the next, uh, for the next meeting. Nice, great start. Look forward to, going through the book with you guys. Yeah, me too. It should be fun. Um, all right, well, uh, all right, well, that's easy. I guess, I guess we're done. Have nice. Week one in the bag. See you guys. <laughs> See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>